made this little exhibition with the. Uh, so you curated it. Yes, you could say that. But uh, yes, yes, we are an artist group in Denmark. That's an old tradition where uh, and uh, this uh, Gwani, who I'm a uh, mm -hmm. member of, is about a uh, hundred years old. Oh, 100 years old. Yes, yeah. old, yes, yeah. old, yes old. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, it was uh, it, it was a little oldest, bit uh, oldest group in Denmark. Yes, it was a little bit uh, like this a situation in France, yes. for example, for 100 years old, yeah. uh, for 100 years ago, where the artist uh, rebelled against the uh, salon yeah. Yeah. and made their own, uh, yeah, we know say, history, yes. um, exhibition spaces. Yes. And, uh, and, uh, and in, in Denmark, these um, exhibition groups, they, they uh, they survived and uh, it became a, a tradition. Um, How many members you have? Are we about 50 members? 50. 50. Oh, now, uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, some are dead in the last years. So we are about maybe 40. Okay. Is everybody Danish? No, no. We have uh, also uh, members from uh, other Nordic countries. And uh, it's not because. Um, All in Nordic? Yes, we could. We would like to also have the uh, foreigners, but you know, the, the artists they have to uh, finance the transportation of their works to the exhibition hall. So that, therefore, there maybe have been some practical problems. But in, in principle, in, in principle, it's open for. And, uh, for it's example, last, we, we, all, we, we always uh, we always inv invite guests, often from uh, abroad. Last year we had. Uh, last time we had Frank Nietzsche and uh, Arthur Herrera. Two German artists mm -hmm. uh, got in the show. Mm -hmm. so, so, mm -hmm. so it's, do you have immigrant artists? Uh, so some, do you have some artists that are immigrant? Uh, you know that live here that are not oh, yes, uh, um, Jensen or yes, Clausen? Uh, no, we haven't. We haven't got any. Um, what about Pierre Colaro? We haven't got. Uh, yes. Oh yes. Of course we have Pierre uh, Colaro and. Uh, She's an immigrant too, right? Well, she is an. Uh, I think she, she is an immigrant yes, from. Uh, but um, we have. We have a. Uh, we, we don't have any rules that we can't have immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> but the statistic, the statistic, what is the statistic about? Well, if you take uh, you have uh, Andre Dach. No? But, but I would say we have a, I would say we have about uh, ten percent of the artists are, are, pro are probably foreigners or foreigners okay. or uh, immig immig immigrant background. How you how you choose the, the artists? Well, we choose them. Um, uh, we choose them by simply uh, seeing them, see their works. In, in different exhibitions, and then uh, then we have a little uh, work committee, and we uh, we uh, we invite the guests. We don't have to ask the members for that, but if they are going to be a member, uh, then then we have to um, then then there will be a, a vote among the members uh, if they want to, to have them as uh, as mm -hmm. members. Yes. You say um, you compare with the rebellion in France. Is your group a rebel group? You say. Well, for many years, I would say it was not. Maybe, it, it, you know, as the years went on, the, the, uh, these uh, groups, they, they uh, maybe uh, ended up and uh, represent maybe the more conservative, uh, the more conservative part in Denmark. But then, um, but then, um, and then, uh, you know, we, uh, for in many years, there was a, a, we had this uh, Schillernburg, the art hall in uh, Copenhagen, the big art hall. We had a, 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 a show there every year, and that was a, a tradition. And then, uh, but then uh, some years ago, uh, about six or eight years ago, it, it changed, you know? Ah, yes. Yes, yes, and, uh, and, and this tradition so you, stopped. You were divorced. Yeah, so, now, so now you could say, you know, now running now again is a kind of a opposition, yes. in a way. Maybe not to... Not to the art scene as a whole, but maybe a, as a, maybe as a kind of opposition where to maybe this idea amongst many curators that a show to to have a relevance for society uh, has to have a, a certain team, you know, for example, take up an issue who is uh, already a part of the debate in the society, for example, ecology or. The stranger or whatever, and, and we would in, in Gröning we would say that uh, that art it, itself is so important for society that we don't have we don't need to to have a certain theme to, as an excuse for making an exhibition with the artist. So that's a so in that way you could say we maybe again are a little bit uh, an opposition to to some of the. Um, 
uh, sentences in the uh, among you, curators and so you, on. You are primarily painters, aren't you? Or uh, painters? Or, no, we have uh, we have photographs uh, over there, for example, yes, 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 and we have video art and so I say we, we are sculptural songs, sculpture and so on. Okay. So. Back to your comment. Would you take this as this is your commitment? I mean, it's a kind of commitment you the Groningen has taken now, and they they would try to serve in this way the way you just explained right now that your opposition yes, yes. and uh, and you would like well, to you could say you could, you could also serve, uh, serve for something for society yes. and take the issues and so on and well you could say it, this is a question of commitment because you're talking yeah. like you are, you have a commitment yes, do course. you really have a commitment yes i have a commitment but right. uh, to to add as uh, i think a, an a, an abstract painting can be a, a, a important uh, uh, you could say contribution to the debate in the society, even if it's uh, even if it's totally abstract and therefore not uh, goes into a specific question yeah. and comment mm -hmm. on, on, on that. I have a question about the, you talk about the dead artist. Pardon? You talk about the dead artist that yes, there were some uh, dead artists. Yes, we have lost some members in the, so, because so, they're yeah. all yes. They do be, when the artists die. Do you make a still exhibit their works, or uh, they no. just buy? We, 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 we make we make a no, we, we, we make a little show, maybe two or three or four or five pictures, but we don't make a retrospective. A, a retrospective. They, don't belong, they don't belong to your work anymore. No, it's, 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 it's a. You, you must understand this. This group uh, is um, based on the. Uh, it's uh, self-financed by the. We we we, we finance it by that. If the works we sell. We, we pay a, a percent yeah. to the group, so, so therefore our resources, yeah. and to make a, a retrospective is a... No, I'm not talking about retrospective, I'm talking about including the artist, the dead artist in the shows. Yes. Well, we haven't, we haven't had that tradition, and I, and I don't think we will... Uh, I, think we would, I think we would say that's more uh, a job for the museums, but... Um, but um, uh, oh, I mean, every, group, every but uh, but uh, but, it, but uh, it, it, I said uh, it's not uh, written down any, anywhere. So if, if something, is, if uh, one in the group said, I think it's very important for this show next year yes. that we show this artist uh, he's dead, mm -hmm. then then of course it could be uh, it, it could be arranged. It would not be something that no question that will never happen. It's about the feelings. <laughs> Are you interested in revolutions? I mean, uh, you see your group as, you know, like the Dalai's, they were revolutionary. Or the, do you see your group uh, is more like people want the money for their summer house? Or, you know, it's a kind of petit bourgeois group? Or you want a revolution and change the art and be anti-art or new art? Or, you know, where, I mean, uh, uh, because if we speak about rebellion, it depends if the artist wants to earn enough well, money for well, having could, a weekend. Uh, well, well, if you say... I would say I would say it in a different way because uh, uh, the, the position I'd say that's more maybe it, it's actually a, probably a very traditional uh, art, artist yes. uh, position to take and and for uh, and and for ten years ago twenty years ago it was just uh, the most traditional con, uh, conformity yes it, it was it would not be questioned that position but today I think um, art may. In, it's, a, it's, a little, it's a deep double because you know you have, in one way you have art everywhere in the society. So you could think art is very popular, and everybody wants art. But but there's also a demand that art should be, should be have a function, and therefore maybe it could be a kind of a design or social entrepreneurship or something like that. And th there I, I would, uh, I want to talk for the the freedom of the art to be uh, autonomous.